since the breaking news of the sudden demise of Prophet Temitope Balogun Joshua, the general overseer of the Synagogue Church of All Nation, broke the internet in the early hours of Sunday, the 6th of June 2021. Lots of people have come to say the reason for his sudden demise. All media has been carrying the news. Some say it's this, some say it's that. Some say he died here, some say he died there. But finally, the wife has come out to say, my husband appeared to me in the dream, and this is what happened and how my husband, Prophet Demitope Balog Joshua, died. I met him sitting on chair unconscious. Prophet Demitope Balogu Joshua's wife recounts his last moment. Evelyn Joshua, the wife of Pastor T.B. Joshua, has disclosed the incident leading up to his death. Speaking with some selected journalists on Sunday, the June 6, 2021, she said her husband, the founder of Synagogue Church of All Nations, ended his race prayerfully. She revealed that the televangelist spent about three hours in prayers before the last service on the mountain and appeared to be very, very healthy. She said he never showed any sign of illness or worry and that his main concern was about the prayer line they offered to Indians against the COVID-19 pandemic. She said afterwards he came up to the shower and I left him to have some time to prepare for service and worship has started. Few minutes later he stepped out for ministration. While ministering he spoke about a time to come and a time to leave. His statements were spiritual and suddenly he left the stage and went to his inner chambers. I waited for a few minutes and there after decided to check on him i met him sitting on the chair like someone reflecting but unconscious i quickly beckoned on his disciple who came and tried to revive him to no avail of a truth he went home to be with the lord and left us with a message watch and pray ever since the breaking news i have been just checking the internet always frequenting the facebook page of the mana tv for me to hear the news that Prophet Tomito Peba Logan Joshua has resurrected because I refuse to understand why this good man should die. But yet, no news of his resurrection. But yet, what I kept on seeing is different reactions from different people ever since he died. This person is saying something positive. The other person is saying something negative. Other people are saying, why this person has not given condolence? Why this person has not said anything? And this is the reaction of this popular ovation owner magazine. Daryl Momodu has to say, and also, we know this controversial pastor, so to say, of course, we all know that the freeze, this is his own reaction too. And do you know that Pastor Chris Okotie has something to say concerning the death of Prophet Tomito Pebalogun Joshua? I'm not also forgetting the popular pastor of, I forgot the church because I don't want even to know the name, but I know him, Pastor Igilna said that actually prophesied about the death of Prophet Demitope Joshua Balogu. Ovation Magazine CEO Dela Momodu wonders why the Christian community is silent over Pastor T.B. Joshua's death. I reply, hmm, here is opinion on his Instagram page. He wrote and said, seriously, no word from the Christian community in Nigeria regarding the death of T.B. Joshua. Even in death, he is still hated. And he captioned this post, does he really need any validation? All souls will die. Still on the death of Prophet Tomitope Balogu Joshua. Prophet Igilna says that he prophesied T.B. Joshua's death three times and even told him. The general overseer of Champions Royal Assembly, Prophet Joshua Igilna, on Sunday disclosed that he told the founder of the Synagogue Church of All Nations, T.B. Joshua, about his death in a prophecy. Igilna disclosed that when he told the deceased about what God has shown him, consigning his death. He said that he was not afraid of death and was ready to die at any time. According to the founder of Champions Royal Assembly, he had a vision in 2015, 2016, and 2018 that a great man of God is quitting the sin, and it was pastor and prophet Tomitope Balogun Joshua. Igila further stated that when the deceased heard about the vision, he said, thank you, my brother. If it is his wish to keep me, he will keep me. There is nothing I am afraid of anymore. I think I have done the work the Lord sent me. I will always take a bow to the sovereignty of God. He described the deceased man as a man of humility, ambassador of love to the less privileged, and a blessing to the body of Christ. T.B. Joshua died on Saturday evening in Lagos, shortly after a short Service. 
And this is the reaction of Pastor Chris Okoti over the death of Prophet Tomitope Balogun Joshua. He wrote on his Facebook page, quoting the Bible, Hebrews chapter 1, verse 13, Sit at my right hand until I make your enemies your footstool. And he opened the bracket and wrote one Hippodonion slash Greek and closed the bracket. And he continued, the wizard at Endo who assumed the title Emmanuel has been consumed by divine indignation. And now his disciples bewail his ignominious exit. No marvel, one third of God's angels follow the disgraced anointing cherub Lucifer. Jehovah Jesus, our mighty gladiator, has broken the head of the dragon with his mighty blows. He has descended from the mountain of spices with the fiery sweat of his indignation, glorious in his apparel and traveling in the greatness of his strength. He goes conquering and to conquer the adversaries of his church. Let those who swear by the Lord and by the marchand and by the descendants of Haman now tremble in fear. The day of the vengeance of our God has fully come to Nigeria and they shall not escape. Operation Hippodonion footstool has has conquered more power to you and he said reverend chris okotie and daddy freeze wrote on his instagram page and said dear nigeria stop go i mean general overseers it will be a bad idea if you offered a condolence message to tb joshua's congregation and to his family he wrote in yoruba tiambanjan beating kakunkun please i'm not a yoruba so ignore my pronunciation and he captioned it and said i come in peace Let's Let's live in love even if we disagree let's disagree in love first corinthians 16 chapter verse 14 new international version do everything in love that the priest is right whatever it is that happened that does not stop the pastors for them to also write a condolence or even say it whether visual or even drop it on their social media sites whether twitter whether instagram or facebook remember they say forgiveness all these pastors they keep preaching forgiveness to their congregation why then don't practice it and that's exactly what Del Omodo is trying to say again i heard somebody saying that he is not among the can the can has to do with christian association of nigeria all the clergies that are involved in this association whether you are Presbyterian, whether you are Pentecostal, whether you are Catholic, Anglican, Apostolic, or Methodist, once you are a pastor, you are supposed to be a member of Khan. And they said that TB Joshua has never been a member of Khan. But is that enough reason for them not to even write a condolence visit or write a condolence message or even announce his death or say something? I don't understand. I have been waiting for the pastor of Dynamis, Woodside. Even the general overseer of Redeemed Church has said nothing yet. Am I talking about family worship? Even living faith. Uh, of course, um, nobody has ever said anything concerning his death. Now, the question is this Are you all still beefing him to death? Just imagine what Chris Pogotier is saying. Okay, now he's trying to say that the hand of Temitope Joshua Balogu is not clean. Blah, 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 blah. Of course, this is what he said. I have read it out. And I ask you that is judging, is your hand clean? Remember that Matthew chapter 7 verse 1 said, judge not, and thou shalt not be judged. And meanwhile, the church members are still crying over the death of their general overseer, prophet Timitope Balogun. <laughs> 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 this is indeed absolutely sad but then again you already know that my only obligation and assignment on my beautiful and entertaining channel if you start one, is to bring to you celebrity news updates using sliding photos and video clip content of your favorite celebrities simply for information values and absolutely for entertainment purposes and you have heard what the wife of prophet Tenito Pek Balogu Joshua has to say concerning the demise of his beloved husband and like I heard that he's left to mourn him and all the members of Synagogue Church of All Nations. And yes, he is the father of three good daughters. I heard that one is doing PhD, the other one is doing masters, and the last one is still in secondary school. And no one has ever indicated if he has a son or not. But we all know that the current wife, Mrs. Elizabeth Joshua, actually had, had three daughters for the late prophet. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. But before I say it, this is a wrap. Please, if this is the first ever video you are watching on my entertaining channel, and because you want to know the update of the threat of Prophet Temitope Joshua Balogun, please kindly click on the red icon down below to subscribe to my channel and do not fail to of course, turn on the notification bell. Bro, please, I believe that I am giving to you what I really wanted. As in what you bargain for is what you are. Please, if it is what you bargain for, indicate in the comment section. And if it is not what you bargain for, please also indicate in the comment section. And it is this on the update about the death of Prophet Emitope Balogu Joshua. Thank you for watching Copy and Paste. This video link on all your entire social media platform. Love and light from my end. Remember to subscribe and Turn on the notification bell and bye-bye. Thank you for watching.